Christian Friedrich Samuel Hanneman was born in Meisen, Saxony, near Dresden. His father Christian Gottfried Hanneman was a painter and designer of porcelain, for which the town of Meisen is famous. As a young man, Hanneman became proficient in a number of languages, including English, French, Italian, Greek and Latin. He eventually made a living as a translator and teacher of languages, gaining further proficiency in Arabic, Syriac, Chaldaic and Hebrew. Hanneman studied medicine for two years at Leipzig. Citing Leipzig's lack of clinical facilities, he moved to Vienna, where he studied for 10 months. After one term of further study, he graduated MD at the University of Erlangen on 10 August 1779, qualifying with honors. His poverty may have forced him to choose Erlangen, as the school's fees were lower. Hainman's thesis was titled Conspectus ad Fectuum Spasmodicorum Etiologicus et Therapeuticus. A dissertation on the causes and treatment of spasmodic diseases, in 1781, Hanneman took a village doctor's position in the copper mining area of Mansfeld, Saxony. He soon married Joanna Henriette Kuchler and would eventually have 11 children. After abandoning medical practice, and while working as a translator of scientific and medical textbooks, he translated 15 books from English, 6 from French and 1 each from Latin and Italian from 1777 to 1806. Hanneman traveled around Saxony for many years, staying in many different towns and villages for varying lengths of time, never living far from the River Elbe and settling at different times in Dresden, Torgau, Leipzig and Cothain, Anhalt, before finally moving to Paris in June 1835. In early 1811 Hanneman moved his family back to Leipzig with the intention of teaching his new medical system at the University of Leipzig. As required by the university statutes, to become a faculty member he was required to submit and defend a thesis on a medical topic of his choice. On 26 June 1812, Hanneman presented a Latin thesis, untitled, A Medical Historical Dissertation on the Helleborism of the Ancients. His thesis very thoroughly examined the historical literature and sought to differentiate between the ancient use of Helleborus niger, or black hellebore, and the medicinal uses of the, white hellebore, botanically varatrum album, both of which are poisonous plants. Hanneman continued practicing and researching homeopathy, as well as writing and lecturing for the rest of his life. He died in 1843 in Paris, at 88 years of age, and is entombed in a mausoleum at Paris's Père Lachesse Cemetery.